I am back, I am back. I'm so sorry I haven't vlogged in a while and then all of a sudden I'm in St. Lucia. Yes, I'm on a press trip, which is really exciting because I've actually helped like pitch and organize this. So it's for Black History Month, there's four of us, we're all black influencers, we're all together and we're in St. Lucia and it's just, it's really exciting. I've pulled something off. It's been a few years in the making, but it's exciting to finally be here in St. Lucia. And we've been having some really interesting conversations already. So I'm here with Sade, Onyi, Steph is on her way. And yeah, so Sade and Onyi have just been saying that St. Lucia reminds them of Nigeria, which is really interesting because I can imagine it. Like I haven't seen, I've seen glimpses on people's stories, but there are, there's like a sense of familiarity when you, you come to the Caribbean. And I imagine if I were to go to Nigeria or you know, Ghana or other places. So yeah, I think it's really interesting to have, you know, these perspectives out here. So today we're gonna go to the capital, which is Castries. We're gonna see what the market's like. And I'm really glad that we're going because I'm the kind of person, especially, you know, in the Caribbean, like I wanna go to the markets. I wanna see the color. I don't wanna just be on beaches all the time, although I can't wait to go and see a beach, but I really just love experiencing the culture, you know, buying random things. I love going to supermarkets. I wanna go and buy some coffee and some seasoning. Yeah, I'm excited. Maybe I should show you something that I've borrowed. That could be my thumbnail right there. Well, it's clutched by a designer called Tahara Smith. So her graduate collection was Windrush inspired. I think she's done all of this embroidery by hand. And it does remind me of the stuff you get in Jamaica. Like she's put a really cool modern twist on it. She's got some prints as well. So go and have a look at her Etsy store or her website or Instagram, give her a follow. It's 10 a.m. I've been up since half five, but I'm feeling good. I'm feeling, you know, alive. And I'm excited. I'm excited to experience St. Lucia. This is where we're staying. We're at the Coco Palm Resort. And I like it because it feels really connected to the town. So we're not like in a gated, secluded place, but we can walk, have a look around, you know, immerse ourselves. And I'm with Sade. Yay. We found a little cat family. Meow. 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 <laughs> we're staying in the north of St. Lucia in Rodney Bay, and it's a 20 minute drive to the capital, Castries. Now, I'm a strong believer in getting out of your resort and exploring the local culture, especially in the Caribbean. If you're looking for gifts, then I would head to the Central Market on John Compton Highway. There is so much basket goodness here. And there's also some amazing hats. So these, these are 35 pounds. I don't know if I can pull these off, but I really want one. We walked towards Derek Walcott Square, named after the acclaimed poet, then had a look around the cathedral. It's the largest church in the Caribbean with murals painted by Dunstan St. Omer. Come and see representation. So I am back, I'm back in the room. I think these rooms have been recently refurbished and it's really handy, like there's USB ports. Not all hotels have USB ports, which I think is just, you know. So I bought this from the market. This is really, I've never seen things woven in this way. So I like to collect things from wherever I visit. Very happy with this. And I bought a fan as well. I'm gonna be using this a lot. Also bought some coffee and some pineapple. I think I was ripped off slightly. Like I just, I didn't even know what to say when he quoted the price, but I just went along with it. But yeah, we're gonna chill for a bit by the pool and get some food. So we have both gone for some chicken roti with potato and salad. Shade. It's got some plantain. I say plantain. Plantain. Plantain is the correct way. I think because we're in St. Lucia, we should say plantain. Plantain. Later on, we had dinner at a place called Orlando's. The chef, Orlando Satchel, introduced each course and explained that he wanted to bring Caribbean food to a wider audience. There's such a distinct mix of spices and local ingredients. We even had a chocolate dessert with a hint of jerk seasoning. Hello, so it is a new day in St. Lucia and we're gonna have lunch at a place called the Pink Plantation House. So the food is meant to be very, very good here. Everything's served on these beautiful plates. I'll have to show you. 
but first we're going to take some pictures. So I believe that the owner also paints ceramics so you can buy them here and they are very very vibrant. The Pink Plantation House is also a boutique hotel with four rustic rooms, more hand-painted ceramics and beautiful views of the coastline. We then had lunch with local influencers Lamar and Rankin to share ideas and learn a little bit about what it's like here. I have ordered the shrimp curry for lunch and then we've got all these sides. Oh my god. So we've got steamed veg. These baked beans did you say? Um, a kind of bean. A kind of bean. And then is this mac and cheese? You guys are like, oh my god. <laughs> mac and cheese <laughs> and plantain. 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 A-I-N. No, no, no. On day three it was finally time to head to Safria, which is the old French capital. Even though it was a 90 minute drive, the best thing is watching the landscape change. So today we're going to go on a bit of a nature trail and hopefully we will see some views. Yes, I'm going to change. The Tetpool Nature Trail is billed as a hike for people who don't really do hiking and it takes around 45 minutes. Expect gorgeous views of the Grand Piton and Petit Piton. They're said to be the most famous mountains on earth. So this is a five hour hike and you need five litres of water if you're going to do it and they recommend that you should be a professional rock climber. So I think I will be avoiding that <laughs> this time. So I think we are coming to the end of our nature trail. I feel like I've learned so much and there's just so many beautiful views. Like I just, everywhere I look, it's amazing. And here you can have like three, 360 views of the island. It's just such a unique shape. It's just beautiful. We all joke that we're manifesting a house by the Petit Piton because there's lots of celebs living there. I think Oprah's got a house. So I'm going to put that on my vision board. We'd kindly been invited to lunch at Ladera, a unique hotel that offers the best views of the mountains. It was built in the 70s and all the furniture is produced on site. This is so beautiful. Look at this. this just chill on your swing and look. Oh my God. <laughs> Wow, this is the bed, and then this bathroom, this bathroom is a mood, like look. This shower, this is so fun, like you could have a party, you could have a shower party in here. Also, look at this space, oh, so beautiful, hi. After the obligatory photo shoot, it was time for lunch. I went for a gazpacho soup that was so refreshing, plus the barracuda with a fruit salsa. So this has been our lunchtime view. Oh my gosh, I'm never gonna forget this. We're now gonna go in the mud baths and apparently they make you feel 10 years younger. So no, I'm not gonna, not gonna argue with that. I'm gonna try and keep it from here downwards. But yeah, I am excited. I'm gonna try something new. I'm gonna get into the water willingly. The Sulphur Springs is actually part of a dormant volcano and the groundskeepers fetch mud from the crater three to four times a day. Apparently a mud bath here can help with relaxation, mosquito bites, eczema, wrinkles, acne, you name it. How are you feeling? I feel fresh. Are you fresh? <laughs> I'm still, okay. So I definitely need a shower. But yeah, we, we will see if I am going to look like a 22 year old again. The Tarai waterfall isn't too far away if you fancy a swim. It's a really colourful tourism site and I saw the cutest kitten. I think I'm almost becoming a cat person. Almost. We have made it to Sofria. This is the old French capital. Of course, I had to have a quick look around Sofria, which is super colourful. Also, fun fact, the name Sofria roughly translates as sulphur in the air and describes the smell of the volcanic area. Hello. So, it is Tuesday. I can't believe it. it's our last full day. It's gone so quickly. We started off slow, then, you know, increased the activities. And I think that's really good because I've been to quite a few press trips where it's like, go, go, go from the outset. And this jet lag, you know, this UK to Caribbean jet lag is not fun. And I feel like we've had a few days to just get over that and we're like yeah energy energy also we did the sulfur springs yesterday so you're meant to be tired on the day you do it and then refreshed afterwards and i do i do kind of feel refreshed like in my mind 
and my body. I think it's just being in the Caribbean. Like, I think, I think that would solve all my problems. And it's just so beautiful. Like, oh, the, the, the scenery, like the coastline is very different to Jamaica. Like I'm always comparing things to Jamaica, but that's, that's what I know in terms of the Caribbean. Here in St. Lucia, it's very mountainous. So when you're driving around, sometimes I think the whole island is 21 miles long, but you're having to go like all around the houses, you know, on these winding streets because that's just how it is. You've got to go through the rainforest or whatever, the vegetation. It's just beautiful views. Like you look out the window and you're just seeing all these colorful houses and views and the, the roofs, like the, the view of the roofs. Oh, it's just beautiful, it's oh, <laughs> just, oh, just like that. So today we're gonna go to Pigeon Island, learn about the history, see some views. And after that, we've got lunch and then Halton Estate. We're gonna do some chocolate making. This is really exciting because I've not done that before. Uh, not, I don't think I've ever done it. I've had, I think my nan, she's got like the cocoa beans or something in her freezer. So she showed that to me and it'll be interesting to hear more about it. So yeah, better go. The mornings, I've been up since like quarter to six and I don't know where the time's gone, but story of my life. So Pigeon Island was about 10 minutes away from where we were staying. It's said to be a living museum and I'd recommend taking the booklet and reading about the history of St. Lucia. Now, it's tricky to condense, but long before it was joined to the coast, it was used by pirate gangs as a hideout, then as a naval base for the British. So I'm going to try and find Fort Rodney. I'm hoping this isn't too strenuous. I hope I don't get lost as well. I've got like 25 minutes. But hopefully I'm going to see some really nice views. Can I go up? I think so. Pigeon Island is an important observation and defensive site. Oh, and I think you can see Martinique. Maybe I should have a little look. Just see if I can see it on the, oh God, I've just lost my shoe. Uh, wow, this is quite something. Afterwards, we headed to Howelton Estate to learn more about how chocolate is made. We were given the cocoa nibs, cocoa butter, and icing sugar to mix. You wanna try and use that pestle and mortar to get rid of the gritty texture. Then the bars chilled for around 45 minutes. Oh, careful. <laughs> oh, okay, good. calm down. Oh, so calm Hello, down. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, look, I don't even have to do anything. It's great. <laughs> no, I did a lot. This will be our chocolate. Yes. yes. <laughs> With my name. <laughs> it's the last day. I took some photos, tried to figure out my drone, and had one last look around Rodney Bay. So this is my final breakfast. And I've got the cocoa tea. I think this has, mm, I, this might have a bit of nutmeg, like there's a lot of nutmeg in the drinks and desserts here, even the rum punch, I think there's nutmeg in the rum punch. Just checking out the property situation in St. Lucia, through the gates of course, because I'm not staying here. But, oh my gosh, I think this is my dream house. I need to pack. This is such a mess. Oh dear. I've got like an hour and 15 minutes and I've just bought some lunch. Goodbye St. Lucia. I have to go now. Like I literally have to go. The car is downstairs, but this has been a whirlwind of a trip. I've had so much fun and I feel refreshed. You know, it's been great to see another Caribbean country to see what makes it tick. Everyone's so friendly. The landscape is beautiful and I'm sure I'll be back. Anyway, I have to go, so I will catch you on the other side. Bye. There was a shuttle from my hotel to, to town and the guy was like taking a picture of me sat in a seat looking sweaty. It's not the best picture. But you may see me if you have any friends, if you're Mexican and every, any of your friends have a random picture of me, like what, 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 what's going on? It's something I don't quite understand, but luckily it hasn't been negative. Like I'd rather have that than 